Okay, so the division property, when you divide two exponents that have the same base, you are going to subtract those exponents together. So for example, if I have 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 6th, they have the same base because 10 and 10. So then I can subtract those exponents from the numerator 8 to the denominator 6. It always goes numerator minus denominator. So 8 minus 6, we end up with 2. So 10 to the second would be this simplified. Okay, so let's do a couple more because division property is pretty hard. Okay, notice here we have the exact same base. So again, we are going to um, subtract the exponents. So I keep 4 here, okay, and then I do 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 4 ends up being 2. Okay, so 4 to the second, that is just a simplified version of 4 to the sixth divided by 4 to the fourth. All right, we're going to get a little harder now. Okay, take a minute to write this down. Okay, when we get to these bigger problems, I like to separate them as much as possible. Okay, kind of like with the like terms here. So 12 and 6, and then x to the 7th divided by x to the 5th. So I kind of separate it into two separate problems. Okay, so 12 over 6, okay, that reduces to 2 over 1. Okay, and we know that to just be the number 2. Okay, and then we have x to the 7th divided by x to the 5th. So just like those first two problems that I showed, okay, they have the same base, so we're going to subtract those exponents. So 7 minus 5, we end up with x to the second power. Okay, and then all we do is combine these two together. Okay, so we put 2 times x to the second. So that ends up being our final answer. It's a simplified version from what we had at the beginning. Okay, so um, I want to show you this one again, right, to show you how you can do it by expanded form. Okay, so if we have 12x to the 7th over 6x to the 5th, if we write this out in expanded form, we end up with 12 times x times x, and we're going to do that 7 times. Okay, and then we do the same to the bottom. We end up with 6 and then 5x's. Okay, and with division, okay, if we have a common term up at the top and the bottom, okay, we can cross them out. They kind of cancel each other out. Okay, and we can't cancel these last two x's because there's no more below it. Okay, so we end up with 12 times x times x at the top divided by 6. Okay, because we canceled out these five x's at the bottom and the top. Okay, we can then write our x's in exponential form with our exponent. Okay, and we can reduce 12 and 6 together. Okay, we can say 12 divided by 6. Okay, that ends up being 2, so we end up with 2x to the second as our final answer. Okay, this one up here, that would be an okay answer, but it's not simplified to the best that we can. Okay, because 12 divided by 6, we can simplify. Okay, let's do another one of those. Okay, let's do 5 times x to the third power divided by 20 times x to the tenth. Okay, I'm first going to write it out in expanded form. Okay, I got 5 times my 3x's, and then 20 times my 10x's. Ok, 
Okay, so same thing like we did on the last side. If we have x's or different variables in common with the top and the bottom, okay, they kind of cancel each other out here, okay, because anything divided by itself ends up being 1. Okay, so down here at the bottom, we end up with 7 x's left over. So we now have 5 over 20 times x to the 7th. Okay, now we're not done yet because we can reduce 5 divided by 20. Okay, now 5 divided by 20, we end up with a decimal if you were to plug that into your calculator. Okay, but we can keep it as a fraction. Okay, 5 goes into both 5 and 20. Okay, it goes into it once for 5. And 5 goes into 24 times, so we end up with a 4 down at the bottom. Okay, we always like to keep a placeholder up at the top if there's nothing left over up there. Okay, so that's why we put that 1 up here, because we need something in that numerator. So our final answer, 1 divided by 4 times x to the 7th power. All right, let's do another one. Okay, now notice here we have two different variables. We have x's and we have y's. Okay, I'm going to again write it out in expanded form. So we have six, 16 excuse me, times 4x's, and then there's two y's up on our numerator. And then we have 9 and we have 8x's. and we have one y. Okay, so exactly the same like we did the last one. Okay, we can cancel out some x's here. We can cancel four of them out, and we can cancel out one of the y's on the top and the bottom. So we still have 16 up top. We have one y left over, no x's up at the top, and we have nine on our denominator, and 4x's left over, so x to the fourth. So we are not done yet. Okay? We have to simplify 16 and 9. Can we simplify 16 divided by 9? Is there a number that can be divided into 16 and 9? Okay, no, there is not. So this is actually ends up being our final answer here. Okay, 16 times y divided by 9 times x to the fourth. Okay, so that is a simplified version of what we started with. Okay, they both mean the exact same thing, okay, but we just simplified. If you are still having questions on division, please make sure that you're asking.